Hello friends, welcome to this session. Uh, basically, we are going to learn in this session the creation of SQL Server. Uh, till now, we show that uh, uh, creating the MySQL Server, and in this session, we are going to learn the configuration for the SQL Server and how to create that. So let's start. So here, I'm going to go in instance. I created one SQL Server in previous session. No issues. We creating new one. So here you can see the options here, the engines option, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgre, Oracle and SQL Server. So we are going to select SQL Server here and we are going to create a new SQL Server with uh, free tier. You can see the different options here is the SQL Server Express Edition, SQL Server Web Edition, Standard Edition, Enterprise Edition. So let's start with the Express Edition okay so this is the basic configuration for your engine and uh, configuration for your instance identifier user and password so you can select the license here uh, db here one db version here and just i have enabled here for the free tier so you can change your db class here in Peter only will show and you can see the difference configuration so and team zone uh, based on your requirement you can choose your time zone okay uh, allocation size you can choose and based on requirement you can also locate here your, your allocation size so let's move with the default size giving the name so here I am giving the name is SQL SQL server easy learn okay uh, password password you can select here one two three four sorry this is the username so here this giving the username is admin and password giving the one two three four okay so let's move next so okay okay so in a network you can choose the vpc or creating no new vpc for public accessibility you can give the yes and no based on your requirement if you don't want to give the access to public you just select no our British zone don't want to deploy in which our British zone so you can also know the difference it will be automatically select the our British zone and uh, even you can also select the uh, our British zone from the list down and you can create new security group which will create automatically also you can assign the existing security group from here so I am just assigning the my previous RDS security group here so you can see here and uh, for window authentication you can create the new directory and yes uh, ads server okay database operations you can see the configure uh, port number also you can change the port number and tagging option you can change encryption and uh, uh, basically backup and maintenance options are here which we have discussed in our previous session of uh, uh, mysql and uh, basically maintenance monitor and backup configuration based on the requirement you can configure here so let's create here a db instance okay so it's created and let's see the status so here you can see the sql server easy learn status is creating here and here you can see the your engine version so here you can just see that sql server express edition and this is the version and here it will give the creating it will take some time to create and this is the basic information of your uh, sql server so arn engine license username security vpc subnet group subnets security group publicly accessible instance and this is the basic information which are used for your uh, instance detail and it will take some time to generate your uh, end point here so let's replace and check so 
still not uh, created here endpoint and will take some time okay so now our server is uh, available status and uh, uh, it takes some time to get in the status so you should wait for some time okay so let's uh, go to the details for this configuration so you can see here the engine version is uh, SQL Server now and DB instance and it's now available state you can see the different uh, monitoring graphs here and here your endpoint is generated and uh, your port is 1349 okay so this information is there and let's go to the modify instance and you can modify your instance here so you can change your license your db instance your storage type your allocation size based on your requirement or your use case and you can change the, your password and identifier here network in that you can assign change the security group public accessibility you can change and update here uh, you can also configure that microsoft ad server here database options so port you can change here tagging change here backup monitoring and maintenance configuration you can update change here okay so from here you can uh, change your configuration here you can see the high level status of your instance and once you select in instance field then you can see these things uh, in this instance actions options okay guys so this is the basically uh, configuration for the sql server and uh, how to create sql server and what kind of configuration we need to take care while creating the sql server and uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more aws technical videos thank you